Look at that black girl, look at that black girl, look at that black girl. Queen, queen. Queen, queen. Yeah. Yo. What are my people them and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have another episode of Tech Time. Tech Time, Tech Time. Um and in today's video, we are going to create your channel banner or channel art channel better whatever you want to call it and um yeah essentially this isn't a must-have um, it's just so that when you do go onto your channel you know people get to see something nice get to see you a little information about you and what your channel's about and um yeah i would definitely suggest doing a channel banner um i've changed mine quite a few times but i think this is the best channel banner i've ever created so far um I've had a few comments on it saying that new people like it. Also, if you are a new subscriber or a new viewer, why are my people there? My name is Shaddy B. Um, I create all types of videos. Um, I'm still trying to find my niche, but yeah, whatever. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, why are my people there? Welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, so let's just get into this. So, um, the first thing you're going to need in order to create your channel banner channel art i think i'm gonna be sick of the word channel better by the end of this um voiceover but yeah you're gonna need the template so you would need to click right here where you see the little pencil thing which would then say to edit channel art so click on that so right down at the bottom you will see um how to create um channel art so we just need to click on that and here you will find you know basically all the instructions as to you know dimensions you know um, a little video as to how to create channel art template sizes and guidelines etc i don't think you really need to take note of these per se but when we go on to the video about creating thumbnails um you would then have to think about the dimensions that you need for your thumbnail but for now we're just going to focus on the channel art and yeah so this is essentially what the template looks like and this is what we're going to be using so we're going to download that and um save or well, open it so you're gonna have you're gonna see two different files here so you're gonna see one for photoshop and one that says fireworks that's the one that you need essentially i would advise you guys um to save it in a little folder so this is my little this is what my hard drive looks like um for my youtube stuff um i put everything in little folders so that things can just be easy to access so um i've already got the template saved in the folder but um yeah we will go into that in another video i guess so now we need to head over to um pick monkey so with pick monkey um it's literally um probably the easiest software you can use to or the easiest editing tool you can use to create your final um your, your channel art this is the only downside of the video um in order to create this channel art you will need to um sign up for the free trial of pick monkey before you were able to just have a standard account and you were able to just do just normal text and whatever whatever and they will allow you to export your image but now for some reason they um, will still allow you to create the image but you'd have to be a member or pay for the subscription in order to um export the image so when um creating this i would um you would need to just sign up for the free trial and um, just set a reminder in your phone to cancel the membership um but i kind of feel like you've got a good seven days to perfect your channel art and if not this is so bad but then just if you if you feel like you need a bit more time just create a new email address but then you'll be starting from scratch whereas in chat with um pit monkey sometimes you can um edit as you go along sorry for that long explanation but that part is important so just as i said this is the big big warning make sure if you are going to use pit monkey this is the um channel art that i created obviously for my page earlier um and I'm just obviously going to show you how I did that. So you go to create new. And um, obviously we already downloaded the template, which will be on our computer. So we just go onto our computer, wherever you save the template, just um, get it from there. So yes, here it is. Here's the template as to what we need to create our channel art. So um, 
I might not be explaining this in the best way um but yeah so essentially we need to just we need to black out these areas so that we have kind of like a border of where our text needs to lie or our picture or our channel art needs to lie so um, as you can see that if you have desktop tablet so this is how it would look for each of these things so we go to graphics um and then we go to basic um pick the square or rectangle i think this rectangle is probably a bit better um, and then we just want to put that right above the tablet part and then just cover it right down to the other end. Then just copy and paste that so that, you know, we've already got the size that we need. You don't have to go for the hassle of doing that again. And then let's drag that down to the bottom. And then PicMonkey never used to have these red lines. So I'm, this is so much easier. So, yeah. And then we just get that um, rectangle again, um, turn it around to, I think, 90 degrees. I don't know. Um, and then make it longer and then just make sure that it covers and it's right the right angle go on girl turn it girl Ooh. yeah so 90 degrees i was right so yeah um just duplicate it and put the other one to the other side there we go so this inside section here is where we're going to create our channel channel art so yeah so now that we've got so now that we've done that we will then need to go to um the background color so essentially we want it to be white so we'll keep it as a, as white and then we press apply so it's now nice and blank so that you can create the magic oy oy. <laughs> so yes so when creating a background you can leave it plain and just put text or pictures or whatever i'm just showing you how i created my one um essentially um for the dimensions of the template it's best to use tumblr um, backgrounds so just type in like tumblr backgrounds or with the specific tumblr background you might be looking for so i wanted pink clouds for some reason i don't know why and i found the clouds that i wanted for um the background so i just literally saved that to my um computer and then i went back to pink monkey and then we go to effects sorry not effects we go to photos and then um add your image go to your computer and you know you know you guys know but yeah you guys have seen what i'm doing so you now we've add, added the image we would want to make the image as big as possible um so that it can fill that space I would just suggest filling the whole section with this picture as much as you can um, and then just keep the writing within the box if that makes sense just yeah whatever you guys get what I mean so we're going to right click and then send that to the back and now we can continue with working within that space so that's now in the back let's position it however you want it to look for um, your channel art so now that we've done that, we are going to do the photo. Guys, this was the hardest thing that I have ever had to do. Yeah, but I'm going to quickly, when I say quickly, I'm going to fast, fast forward this because it is very, very, very tedious. So you go and find a picture of um, yourself. And then you open that in Photoshop. I'm also going to sh quickly show you guys how to do it in um, an app, um, which probably would be most useful for you guys. I've actually paid for Photoshop for um because they were doing a deal where you can get Photoshop and Lightroom where you can edit your pictures to look a bit nicer, as in like colour wise and stuff like that. Um and it's ten pounds a month, which I think is a bargain. Um, and considering that, you know, you can use Photoshop for, you know, cutting pictures out and whatever, whatever. I know it's ten pounds and I can use free apps, but it's just easier and I can get it on my computer. This thing is so sensitive. So basically when you do that or create a shape or go around the shape, you can just remove the background or whatever. Yes, yeah, so we go into the magnetic um, lasso tool, but yes. 
the aim is obviously to go around the whole thing if you do end up using photoshop it's very it is quite basic but it's very sensitive so what i would suggest doing is um looking at a few youtube videos on how to do this properly i'm just going to do this part very quickly just so that you guys know the basic steps as to how i created the channel art but one key thing that i've learned about the um this tool if you make a mistake you press the um back the backspace button to go back um, a couple spaces to help you so that you don't have to start again i was having to start again every single time and i didn't know how to go back i had to go on youtube <laughs> and learned that the backspace bar lets you um go back so a good um tip for this is to zoom right in she pretty oh yeah what a girl pretty so it doesn't have to be perfect to be fair so that little camera down at the bottom here you will press and then that will remove the background to be fair this is the um this isn't the one i used for my channel art this is just me showing you how to do this um and then that's pretty much it um you click the right the right part of the mouse and then you go to blending options. And this is how I got the yellow thing around it. So there you go. And then I think I then realized that I could do this in Pit Monkey. I really didn't know that, but I just done it on this anyway. Um, yeah, select the color. If you want to change the color, the size, if you want it big, small, whatever. That's the kind of size that I wanted to go for. And then press OK. So that's the image. That's literally the image for our channel art. So now we're going to save that. Save as, as I said, if you just have a folder, it'll make it much easier. But yeah, make sure that it's a PNG so that the background is um, see-through, basically. Um, click where you're going to save it to. I'm just going to save it on my desktop because cause it's easier for me to access whilst I do this video. Um, sorry if I'm speaking fast. I just can't help it. So yeah, now we're, now we're going to insert yourself. We're going to shrink that down to size. That's something my mum would say to me, you know, when I was in trouble. So before we make it smaller, we can add the effect. So we just click on the image, go to um, effects, and then press outline. Make it much smaller. And then just adjust it inside the box. Cool. So we don't have to go for the hassle again. We copy and paste it. And then right where you have adjust, you will then see the... Um, the flip tool so that is the triangle that's facing upwards the horizontal um triangle so now we have like you know your pretty self in the um channel banner i'm sick of that word now <laughs> and yeah so now we're going to add some text so your name so here i'm going to write my name shani b if you're new here subscribe can you imagine can you guys if you hear banging again guys they're still doing works yeah so I'm going to change it to this font that I like. So it's Gotta. Mm. Hmm? So I essentially wanted the writing to be right, white, should I say, with outlines around it because I kind of liked the whole outline look. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Um, so I've made the whole writing, the whole writing white. And then when I, we go over to effects, I believe... And then just do a um outline um i wanted the outline to be black just change the color so you would just change the color to whatever color you wanted it to be and then um make it bigger so that you know it's standing out because you know after you know it's your name you ain't no small small person you know you need to make it big <laughs> that is me shani b Woyoy. so now that we've done that, you can leave it as that, but it'll be nice to just let people know what your channel's about. So I'm just going to just um, put right at the top what people expect from this channel. Now, so now that's done, um, you just want to well it's, these are not things that you have to do but it's the stuff that i would advise doing just so that people get to know you a little bit more before even meeting you or watching any of your videos um so the next thing that you could do is um add your socials at the bottom 
so we are gonna go on to png fly this is where you can get all your png or, or see-through background photos for your videos or pictures or whatever so i'm just going to quickly look for because i don't think i want to have the same shaped logos i don't think i have a snapchat one so i'm going to quickly just download a snapchat icon so that i can just put that at the bottom so yeah something like this so if you don't know how to download from png fly this is so simple but quickly you just press the download thing try and avoid the ones with the dots on it so yeah i'm just going to quickly download um a snapchat icon and then um yeah okay oh all my 90s babies or everyone really but my 90s babies specifically will remember this bloody thing this thing is so annoying but yeah you guys got to quickly do that verify that and download it to your downloads oy oy. um so now that we have downloaded it to our downloads we would then go to our photos and add in your own photo again. Um, if I can find it, yeah. see it there. So now we just got to quickly upload that. And again, just literally scale them down to size and make it fit. Another little tip for this, um, when you upload your other icons, literally rather than, um, guessing the size what i like to do is just put them on right on top of each other and then just scale them down just to see if they kind of match somewhat and then just make that work so now that i've done that i'm just going to quickly position them as to where i want them um a quick tip will probably be just to make it easier for yourself and all your followers or so your subscribers um is to make all your socials the same name although i think my youtube name is shani b and then my instagram names are a bit different my instagram my twitter and my snapchat are all the same so i would just to make it easier i'll just say probably put all that the same for have them all the same across your network so mine is literally flower bomb underscore mommy on all my snatch on my snapchat my instagram and my twitter i wanted to then add a speech bubble just letting people know the days that i intend to upload which should be every wednesdays and every wednesday and every sunday yeah every wednesday and every sunday so i literally just went to graphics there and i think i had to type clouds let me just and then obviously make it down to size i just wanted to put it here as if it's coming out of my head but <laughs> so i was quickly just writing the days that i tend to upload um just adjust it so that it can fit inside the speech bubble or the the cloud so just adjust it so that it can fit in the cloud so now that we have done that oi oi we have created your channel oh, well done guys well done so now we've got to um delete these um black um rectangles so we get to get rid of these gone 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 this is what it will look like. I quite like that, to be fair. So we're just going to quickly download that um, as a PNG to your computer. And then we're just going to go head over back to YouTube. Um, depending on where you are, you just want to get back to this, um, your channel, where you can cust... You'll go back to your channel, and then it will ask you if you want to customise your channel. So we're going to go back to that pencil, which we clicked right at the beginning. And we're going to then go back to edit your channel art. But this time, we don't even need them. You know what I mean? We've got our own things together. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to upload that. So wherever you saved it on your computer, let's make sure you find it. And then upload. So now it's going to show you what it's going to look like on the three different devices that people, that your subscribers may watch on. Um, and that should be okay. So you just want to press confirm. And then, why yoy, are you that? Ah! <laughs> so that is your channel art then created. What I would then recommend that you do is um, to go over and check on your phone. So as you can see on the phone, you can see that it's the text and the icons are kind of cut off and it doesn't really look right. Um, I've kind of, I've also forgotten to put the 
click the follow part on the fun on the um channel art as well so we're just gonna wanna go back over to um pick monkey just so that we can just adjust that slightly so we just want to push those up a little bit more uh, so this is just a rough run my one is pretty much like this but a little bit different who is beeping like that Bruh. and we're also going to bring down the um, um the top part is a little bit so that people nah that beeping i'm so sorry so now that we've done that we just have to put um the, i want to put this clip to follow part um just here because later on we're going to add some um links take your subscribers to your social media accounts so that they can follow you in there also so now i've done that and i think that's okay i'm quite happy with that are you happy with it if you're not happy with it you've got time to play around you've got seven days <laughs> download that and then you're just going to want to re, re upload that the same way as we did before by now you should be a pro at doing this because we've done it about three times so we're going to edit ch channel art we're going to upload from your computer, re-upload again, um, press confirm so that we are happy with that because there's not much we can really do from here. And then you can see that things have come down. It might look squashed on your PC, but it, the whole point of us doing it is so that it, look, it can fit for everyone, you know, inclusive of all devices, <laughs> not just mobile phones. <laughs> So, now that we have done that, so we're just going to quickly check it on the phone. Just to make sure that it is perfect and it fits, which it does. And that is what we wanted. <laughs> yes, so this is your channel art. Woo! Big up yourself. You did that. You did it. Not me. You did that. I just gave you one, two instructions. And yes. Um, if you are new to my channel, I just want to make sure, make sure you guys subscribe. Um... And yeah, I really and truly hope this, that this was helpful for you guys. Um, I honestly tried. So yes, make sure you guys, um, you know, if you're new here, catch up on a bit of my videos. And I keep saying I'm going to be consistent, but you'll be, I'm going to stop saying it now. I'm just going to do it. So um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow where we will be doing, I think, I'm not sure what we'll be doing yet, but yeah, we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> um yeah have a good morning day night evening whatever it is have a good one see you in my next video